Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this first Friday of the month, let us consecrate ourselves once again to the most sacred heart of Jesus. And as we begin this Holy Mass, let us approach the throne of God's mercy and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are meek and humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are slow to anger, but rich in kindness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your love endures forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conform to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I myself am, am convinced about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able to admonish one another. But I have written to you rather boldly in some respects to remind you, because of the grace given me by God, 
to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in performing the priestly service of the gospel of God so that the offering up of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast in what pertains to God. For I will not dare to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me, to lead the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyricum, I have finished preaching the gospel of Christ. Thus I aspire to proclaim the gospel, not where Christ has already been named, so that I do not build on another's foundation. But as it is written, those who have never been told of him shall see, and those who have never heard of him shall understand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, what is this that I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig and I am not ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, 
Here is your promissory note, write one for eighty. And the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Niccolo Machiavelli, the famous author of the book The Prince, wrote, Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. It is through these words of Machiavelli that we could probably understand the parable of Jesus in our gospel today. Jesus' parable is quite difficult to comprehend. Imagine the master commended the steward for his dishonesty. Pinuri yung kanyang katiwala dahil sa pandaraya. Ibig bang sabihin nito pinupuri ang pandaraya. Of course, that, that was not the point of Jesus. This honesty should never be praised. Yung ginawa ng katiwala na binawasan niya yung presyo ng mga utang sa kanyang Panginoon para magkaroon siya ng mabuting pangalan doon sa mga nangutang sa kanyang Panginoon ay hindi tama. Pandaraya. At hanggang ngayon, maraming gumagawa ng ganyang pandaraya. Binabawasan ang presyo. Binabawasan yung nakalagay na halaga para hindi magbayad ng malaking tax. O kaya para hindi masilip. We are not praising this honesty here. We are not praising crookedness here. The point of the parable of Jesus is to show how this steward, who is now being removed from his position, found creative ways in order to survive. Unfortunately, his ways were crooked. Nakagawa siya ng paraan para mabuhay. Kaya lang ang pamamaraan ay mali. My dear brothers and sisters, this shows us that if there is willingness, if there is determination, if there is willpower, then we could do anything even what seems to be impossible. O sa kasabihan natin sa Tagalog, kung gusto talaga, may paraan. Pero kung ayaw, maraming dahilan. Yung hindi mabuting katiwala, gusto niyang mabuhay. Kahit na siya'y mawawalan ng trabaho, kaya nakagawa siya ng paraan na mali. Pero sa ating buhay, kung meron tayong kagustuhan, kayang-kaya naman nating gawin. Kung gusto talaga natin, magagawa naman natin ng paraan. At kung hindi tayo makakita ng paraan, hahanap at hahanap tayo ng paraan. 
St. Paul in our first reading today is a good example of what we are talking about. St. Paul tells of his great desire to carry out the mission entrusted to him by Jesus. Gustong gusto niyang maipalaganap ang mabuting balita sa maraming tao. And so, St. Paul tells of how he proclaimed the good news far and wide, moving quickly, moving as quickly as possible, and as far as possible, just so that people may be able to hear and know Jesus. Dahil sa kanyang kagustuhan, nagawa niya na pumunta sa iba't ibang lugar na ipahayag ang salita ni Jesus na sumulat ng maraming sulat upang madala niya si Jesus sa maraming tao. Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. In St. Paul, even in prison, nakakulong na, St. Paul continues to proclaim God's Word by writing. Yung iba siguro, sasabihin na lang, kinulong na ako, pinapahirapan na ako, bahala na kayo. Pero dahil sa marubdob na kagustuhan ni San Pablo na ipahayag ang salita ng Diyos, walang makapipigil sa Kanya. Kahit na nga ang paghihirap, ang pagiging nasa kulungan, at kahit na ang pagpabanta sa Kanya ng kamatayan. Towards the end of our gospel today, Jesus made this point that the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. That people who are world worldly are more determined than people of God. And so Jesus asks us, if you can sacrifice so much for the things of this world, why can you not sacrifice for Jesus? If you can sacrifice so much for the things of this world, why can't you do the same for Jesus? Bakit kung para sa pangarap, para sa ambisyon, para sa kayamanan o kapangyarihan, kaya natin gumawa ng kahit ano, bakit hindi natin kayang gawin yun para kay Jesus? We must have at least the same degree of determination for Jesus as the degree of determination that we have for the things of this world. Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. Where the determination to do good is great, the difficulties cannot be great. And where the love of God is great, the difficulties cannot be great. Please stand. We make our prayers to the Father who has called us to be faithful stewards in using the goods of the earth for the benefit of all. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social, social justice in the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may be worthy of the people's trust, 
and may they not desire selfish gains in the exercise of their office. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be given the gift of patience in their illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. We also pray for the souls of all the faithful departed and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, help us to be faithful stewards of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness, gave us your only begotten Son. Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, He gave Himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from His first side, the wellspring of the Church's sacraments, so that, won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. 
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and married to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Heart of Jesus, meek and mild, hear, O oh, hear, thy feeble child, when the tempest most severe, heart of Jesus, Sweetly we rest on thy sacred heart, never from thee, oh let us part, hear then thy loving children's prayer, O oh, heart of Jesus, heart of Jesus, hear. 